Okay, so this is video, I think maybe 49, of Hunting for Purple Street Lights in uh, Kansas City. That was James A. Reed Road that we just passed. Um, we are on Bannister Road, and I'm going to go to Elm. I'm looking for mercury vapor lights, purple street lights, construction, even like colored lights on houses and um, like basically like road work indications that there could be um, blockage at certain points to show that uh, these things are not randomly put. Some of them are not randomly put at least. tend to mark the evacuation routes or important traffic areas for some reason or could have the potential to be used to stop people from leaving cities because of where equipment is and stuff like that sometimes even for instruction for example or that just like the purple street lights mark important traffic points such that if there was no way to get past those lights for some reason or that general area whether it be because of gas that you would have to inhale, some kind of chemical or something like that, you, you can't go, uh, people would not be able to leave cities. There would be a problem with evacuating cities. All right, so I'm going to turn around because I think I might have actually seen purple streetlights in a purple. So I can't quite remember which one it was. There's what I was talking. Okay. Uh... I think I might have seen them though, because they looked, they're not like really purple, but they look like they're starting to come. North of where we were, just a few blocks back. The best way to use this video, by the way, is to go to the description because that's where I put the notes for this video for things that I've seen and what time points. I also put the coordinates for my trip and the times so that you can basically navigate through the trip without even watching the video. You can see the stuff and read it and see it. But the video is proof what I've seen, unless it's something that you couldn't see on video that I could see that I still put in the notes. Okay, let's see. Might have been here. This is West Longview. Yep. I think that is still purple lights, too. Okay, Farley is what this is. By the way, what I've learned from doing 17 months of this, 18 months actually now, is that purple street lights, um, they don't have to be directly on the road or even visible from the road to be serving their purpose. If you look at the similarities um, in where those lights are relative to evacuation routes, where you keep seeing them in like a different kind of place, they, the kinds of places that they use them more often, like in Naples, Florida, like in parking lots, uh, or even near gated, like at the gates of gated neighborhoods, but still on a map, they're still working together. And even when they're almost never used, when they're not important somehow, if you look at it on a map, if you think about it just like they're on the street, but they're not even directly on the street. And then also when you see like a whole neighborhood full of them, that's near that evacuation route. Or not that evacuation route, but like near an evacuation route. And you see it happen multiple times, even at a range of like at least a block, sometimes up to two or three blocks from the evacuation routes, like with large groups. 
it's it's rather interesting in fact it means that they're if they're not even just marking one spot it's not for a camera to see you or something like that with ultraviolet light no it's not it's for there because there, there are cases where there are neighborhoods full there's a neighborhood full of them for example actually there are multiple neighborhoods that i know of um, where you can't see the lights where you can maybe only see like one of them when there are a bunch of them there and it's right by the evacuation route there's a wall between you and the lights or trees so it's for visibility from the air or detection from the air and it has to do with the evacuation routes in fact one other thing that I noticed Almost all the examples that I know of, in fact, maybe all of them, almost all of them, um, are like east or southeast of the evacuation routes that I've seen so far in, in uh, southwest Florida. So it might even be about wind, like at that at a certain time of the year. Okay, so these lights look kind of like purple lights, but actually getting closer to them, I don't... They look kind of blue too, actually. Aren't they actually purple lights though? Oh, they look really purple. Did I bring my camera? My other camera. Let's see if I can okay. Let's my camera. Uh, no, I don't think that they are though. Okay, so these are blue lights that are, these are lights that are blue on camera. It's like they're similar to those other lights, but they're not those lights. Okay. I've seen some cases of these, and I don't know if they're important or what. Interesting. Okay, I'm right here, but I'm going to pause this. Actually have to make a category for those lights now because I keep seeing them and wondering if they're purple lights and then they're not the actual purple LED lights. Oh, that's right, I was going to take a different road. I think I saw blue lights. So we should probably okay. Yeah, so there are some blue lights in this house here. I don't know if these are important yet or not, or just some of the ones that we see are important. Okay. I think we passed Raytown Road, though, didn't we? If we passed Raytown Road, then we actually passed the the place that I was going to go to. So we're going to go back. I think we, we might have. Okay, I'm going to try and remember. Yeah, I, I know it's still west of Raytown Road. So we're gonna go back that way. If if I did not go far enough though, um, we're just gonna do something else. So we're just gonna keep going the rest of my road. I'm gonna have to do some of that on another day. I 
It's like 4 a.m. almost, so that's why. Ninety third Terrace. I think I might have just seen a purple street light, so I don't actually want to go and look. Could have been a light on a house though. Which also is kind of what's the word? Um, desensitizing. I mean it's easy to become blase about something that looks kind of purple. It was it a street light or was it on a house, you know, right? It's kind of weird. But these are mercury vapor lights here. They show up greener on camera. Even the ground you can see is kind of greenish. When there are a lot of them in an area, I think that usually means that it's an important traffic point. Even though they're not directly on the road. Okay. I'm gonna go and check and see if that was actually a purple light or if it was like a, a really deep blue light in a house or what. The lights on the other side are off over here, so there are a couple of poles, light poles, where the, all the lights are off on, on the east side of that. Okay, so it's dark over there. Also, street lights that are off, like when there are two or more of those lights, maybe three, I think that, that might matter too. If it's making the road dark, at least, I think it matters. Just a blue light here. Let's see, I'm actually just going to keep going to this one as well and then just turn around. dead in there and this is Spring Valley so I don't know what's to the right but to the left actually we have a mercury vapor light here This is Mr. Terrell's I guess. Okay. The road looks really yellow at this angle, by the way. It's like glossy for some reason because of these lights. Okay, and then that's those mercury vapor lights there. And now we're at James A. Reed. So actually, what I want to do 
I'm actually pretty, pretty much not gonna follow the trip that I planned. I actually want to go backwards. I want to go right. Go backwards. Let's go north. Maybe I was actually supposed to drive farther, and I thought for some reason I went past Raytown. I misremembered. But it's okay because it's like 4 a.m. or so. If I'm gonna complete the whole trip here, it's gonna. Start to get daylight. Specialized to the right or the left there. This is 93rd Street. Um, you can see the special to the left or the right. Nothing special to the left. Nothing special to the left. Nothing special to the left or the right. There's uh, over two, gre three green lights on houses across from each other. Starting at the second houses, they're across. Oh, and then green lights on this one at the third house. Wow. Um, you're gonna have to follow on a map to figure out where we are. I guess. Sometimes you can find these things on Google Maps during the day even. Um, that was 88th Street that we just went past. I didn't see anything special. There's something, there's actually some bluish purple lights, like, but little, little lights, like Christmas lights. Um, but is that like the second house again? I don't know, that's kind of weird. It was in someone's yard. Okay, this is 87th Street. I see some cones to the left. Um, we would have already seen that though. And um, towards the end of the other video, there's some cones over there. All right, so I'm gonna go now. That's actually before that dark area, or I don't know, maybe it includes that dark area. It's to the right though, it's dark. We saw that in another video. There's no lights there. When the lights are off and it's really dark, look at where you are. Sometimes you might notice that it's like things are blinding on the road, like other people's headlights and stuff like that. Even sometimes the stoplight is blinding, kind of, and you're like, what the, what the heck? Start taking note of that and look and see, are there street lights around you and are they off? And then think about where you are and look at it on a map. It doesn't happen as frequently here as it did in Florida, where they also had Hurricane Ian, but I still see it here, and when I see it here, it's still important. It's still in important points, just like they were there. And I felt like it was just too biased at important points. Okay, so I do see a mercury vapor light right there. There's not really a good reason for that, guys. See anything special left or right here? I don't think that's really mercury vapor of light. I think it just is in one of those covers. This is. Gosh, I don't know where I'm at. Uh, it might be Gregory, but it's like the sign is like right behind that red light. I can't see.
Suspense 10, Blue Ridge. Okay, James A. James A. Reed and Blue Ridge. Okay, and we're continuing. I didn't see anything special to the left. I just saw orange lights at that first intersection, by the way. Um, here, 81st Street, just orange to the left. Idiot Terrace here, orange to the left, LED to the right. I don't know if these are the same kinds of lights that we just saw earlier. Um, I don't think they are, but maybe they are. Um, 79th Terrace, I don't see anything special there. No, this is 79th Street. Actually, I want to keep going. I'm going to go all the way up to 63rd. See some cones there, but that's not probably. I saw something that was purplish, but I only saw it for a moment and I didn't see it like the direct light source. So I don't know. It was behind one of those houses about, I want to say, 20 seconds ago almost. 15, 20 seconds ago. On the left side. I think I smell a dead deer. Mercury vapor. So we missed one mercury vapor light back there, but there's also this one. Seventy fourth. Seventy third. I don't see anything special there either. Mercury vapor light here. Not very far from that intersection. Seventy second terrace. Interestingly, I've not actually seen that much construction um, up here. And this today I haven't at least. Okay, this is at Gregory Boulevard and James A. Reed. Um, so I'm gonna take a left and we're gonna go to uh, let me think about which one I want to take. Because I was gonna take a different route before and now I'm not gonna be able to go as many times longitudinally as I was going to go before, so... Sick, I guess we could just take Sycamore. Yeah, let's just take Sycamore. Let's go straight south, all the way down to, uh... Seventy, basically Seventy Fourth Street or so, and then I, if we were gonna do the route, basically look at the roads I was gonna look at before, which maybe I guess I could do. It's like 
It's 4 a.m. right now. Actually, 4 a.m. Mine's kind of blank on that. Okay, oh, okay, this is 74th right here. Actually, let's go to 75th. There is a, like a yellow green light right there. Well, I guess we'll know the name of the road here. Let me make this off over there. Okay, this says dead end. So, oh, we can't even go to the right, can we? Wait, is this 75th? This is 75th Street. So it says dead end that way anyway, too. So we'll go over to James A. Reed, and then I guess 74th is that way. Right over there. I was going to go on a, I thought I remember, well, I know there is a block here, so that part's the same. But I thought that the road kept going to the west. The way I planted, I assume that it did actually. Okay. okay, we're gonna take 74th here and I'm gonna go west to the next street, and I just don't remember the name of it right now. There's a mercury vapor light right there. But since that road actually doesn't go all the way through, it's, at least this next road is not a throughway, I guess. So. Or, um, so this is Sycamore that we were just on. And to the left, there was just that one more turn that we could take, and then it was a dead end. Okay, this is Man oh, it's Manchester. Yeah, it was Manchester. <coughs> okay, so I guess we can go to the left. I let's see, I was not gonna get there. Let's see. Actually, maybe I'm wrong about that. This is 74th. Seventy fifth Street. There is a like a little closed hurdle kind of sign, like the construction there. But I didn't see anything else. Mercury vapor light. Okay, now it looks like we have a fork here. Bug zapper. Stay attention to those two. Okay, this is uh, Richmond. Okay. That looks like a dead end down there ahead of us.
this is a sake kind of looking robe. I think there is a light on it, it's just off. But that's just one. And it is actually an LED light. Well, I didn't show there's a light, but there's nothing special there. So it looks like the road actually goes for a while. Okay, so I'm gonna take this up. It's gonna be redundant on my way back, unfortunately, but I guess. This is 77th Terrace, I think. I don't see anything special. Uh, I don't know if that was a mercury vapor light or not. There might have been one on the back side of the house to the left. This is Gregory. There is, um, by the way, a purple street light if you bench, if you keep going that way, I think, I-435, um, which I can show you guys, I guess. Why not? This is as far north as I was gonna go, though, with these other roads. I don't remember why, but I just remember I didn't need to go all the way up to 63 for them. I think there might be dead ends or something. Okay, here's the purple street light. Oh, there are actually two of them, it looks like. Or maybe it's just the same. Sure. No, I think it's the same one. This is absolutely beautiful because of the clash of colors. Look at that. Um, I saw this in video four. Or four or five. I think now. Video five. I guess I didn't see this before, so that's okay. Um, I think since I'm close enough home to where I live, basically, I'm just going to keep going this way. I was going to do some other stuff, but now when I think about it, it's like 4 Keep changing colors. I don't know what this means. I saw this a lot in Omaha. Like, were there just different colored lights? Okay, wait, this is. I think it says smoke something. There's a gate to the right.
Okay, this says Lakeside. I don't know what this is. I think we just keep following this. There's a gate to the right there. Okay, go up there. To the left, there's water. Jackson, I think we're already at a point that we've already seen the lights. Video uh, 46 is where I was over there going the opposite direction. So, well, I'm going to show you one of the things that's where we're like basically right there. Notice that this building is like really long. It just happens to be like by an evac route, like we're, we're an area to get out of this general urban clustered area here. We have these cones here, by the way. We did see those also in video, uh, let me say video, four, maybe it's video 38 or something like that, that you can see. And also a bunch of mercury vapor lights in that neighborhood for some reason. Okay, well, actually, okay, yeah, there's that blue light. I think the mercury vapor light would be right, yep, right there. This is Indiana then. And I don't know if we took Gregory all the way over to uh, Troops, so I'm just going to go over to the Troops before we stop this video. This is Wall Road. No special lights on the right or left that I can see. Bella Fontaine. We already took that road south and to the north. I didn't see anything. Agnes. I don't see anything special on the right or the left. Mercury vapor light right there. And this is oh, also another one there. Something makes me think I should probably park or stop before this intersection. This is kind of weird because they have like a intersection here right next to an intersection.
Prospect Avenue. There is a mercury vapor light right there. You can just barely see on a building. That light's off. I think I see another mercury vapor light um, ahead of us, just, just to the left of the road at the second point that you can turn off onto at all. Yeah. Well, actually, maybe it's after, but that's where it was. Like, right there. Anything special left or the right? Brooklyn. Don't see anything special to the left or the right. This. Paseo. It's actually just kind of like an actual main road. Um, I think Truth is coming up here pretty soon. And we've already seen uh, Gregory and Truce. Don't see anything special left. That I can see him. Not anything special left, but there's a hill there. And nothing special left. Same thing on the left there, and then now we got changed. All right, so pretty sure this is the one with the metal plate here. Oh no, maybe it's not. Okay. So I'm not 100% sure that we saw this yet, so we'll just go to that intersection because I know I've shown you that. I think it might be 70 seconds. Okay, this is 70 second street. Okay, it's possible that they actually repaired that or something that's no longer there. Huh. It's a different one, let's see. By the way, if there's a metal halide or cycling light or... Oh, you yeah, just shut off. So it's a cycling light. I think they actually fixed that. That's interesting. Because on, well, on Holmes and uh, by Bannister, Last I saw, they have a few different uh, metal patches there on the road. So I take it underneath that's like a hole. So if those metal, if that metal was removed somehow, um, there would be holes in that road, which would suck. Anyway, uh, we're at 75th here, so I'm pretty sure that we're as far as we've seen it. So I'm gonna stop.